Hey guys, Jingle Zero. Uh, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in. Okay, it's been a couple of days since I made a video and I've had a couple of questions. I figured we'd sit down. It's uh uh, it's Friday or Saturday or I don't know, March or May the uh, 30th ish, somewhere around there. Uh, actually, not a really actually a coffee chat, more like a Gatorade chat. It's really hot and dry today. We're getting into the summertime. Uh, apologize about being all wet and sweaty, but you know what? That's what fat guys do in the summer. We sweat. <laughs> so, uh, this thing around my neck, I know somebody's going to ask. This is called a uh, Misty Mate Cool Towel. It's kind of like a, feels like a thin chamois almost cloth. But man, it does really help keep you, it stays, I don't know how it does it, but it does stay cool and it is nice to have hanging around your neck and be able to wipe yourself off uh, when you're sweating and every once in a while, you know, you got to wash them and stuff. But I mean, it's, it's really cool. Uh, Misty Mate, uh, this one, Lobuck sent me this. Thank you very much, Bubba. I use this all the time in the summertime, man. It does help a lot. And uh, I think you can get them on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if I can find it where you can go and check these out. And uh, they're, they're good for us larger folks to have. Even the skinny dudes, man. Even skinny dudes need to stay cool in the summertime. It does help, man. I, I don't know. It, it helps. Uh, somebody asked uh, if we're going to be hatching any more chicken eggs. Yes, we're going to be uh, hatching chicken eggs as soon as we are done uh, with our pheasants. Uh, we've got a few more pheasant eggs right now in the incubator that we're going to be hatching out. And then as soon as we're done hatching the uh, spring pheasants, then we'll start uh, hatching. Um, if you remember, we hatched we hatched a batch of chickens first. And they're in the grow-out pen now. And then we hatched pheasants. And then once we're done hatching pheasants, then we'll start uh, hatching chickens again for the fall uh, butcher, fall and uh, winter butcher time. Uh, we'll be butchering, that's what I've been doing uh, the last couple of days is working on our butcher station, uh, getting it ready to start uh, relocating some chickens from the grow out pen to the freezer. Uh, and that's, uh, and you know, it's been unusually uh, unusually hot and dry here, so it's uh, it's been, uh, I don't know, man, I've been sweating a lot. That's the reason why I'm drinking Gatorade instead of coffee for this particular chat, because Doing a lot of sweating and I need to replace those electrolytes and all that kind of stuff. I know Gatorade's probably not the world's best thing that I could be drinking, but you know, it helps me feel good and it tastes better than water. And uh, I get some more, you know, the electrolytes and stuff because I do sweat a lot. But anyway, yeah, we'll be hatching uh, chicken eggs after we get through hatching our pheasant eggs. Um, what is the one thing I wish I had? One thing I wish I had a well. Man, I would love to be able to drill a well. I just don't have the uh, the resources to do it. Uh, where I live, uh, our soil is mainly rock, uh, really hard white clay and uh, and shale rock and stuff like that. And it's dang near impossible to dig one by hand. You have to have a rig come in, and I just can't afford to have a rig come in to drill a well. You know, I mentioned it was, it's been really, really hot and dry here where I live. There's been a lot of storms and rain all around us, but uh, for some reason, our particular little area, we have not been getting hardly any rain at all. Uh, and my rain barrels, we the, the stuff that we caught through the uh, from the early spring rains, they're starting to run empty. And uh, now when I have to water the strawberries um, and the animals and stuff like that, I'm going to have to start using the hose. And I, every time I turn that hose on, it costs money, and I really don't like to do it. You know, we do what we got to do, but man, if I had a well, that would be so awesome. That's the one thing that I that I wish I had right now. Water, if for some reason there was some sort of a big life-changing event and I didn't have uh, water available in my hose, water right now for me would be an issue. I don't have a well. Uh, our plan would be, uh, our, our little creek that runs down here is, is dry right now because it's a runoff creek. The big creek across the hayfield there where the tree line is uh, on the other side of the hayfield there's a bigger creek and it's still got water in it and it typically has water you know year round in it that's because everybody's not drawn off of it one and two is uh it's got all these little tributaries that feed into it and it's a bigger creek and it's deeper and uh our contingency plan if we didn't have any access to any water and uh, we ran through all the water that we had stored would be to get our water from there uh, via taking barrels down uh, 
and filling them up and bringing them up with a four-wheeler or a hand cart or running. Um, that's about, uh, if you go straight across that way to the creek, it's probably 175 to, uh, to 200 yards. And we do have uh, access to that much garden hose and we can hook up some solar panels and a 12 volt pump and pump water up from the creek that way. But I really wouldn't want to do that. I'd much rather have a well. Well is one of those things that I will have eventually. But it's you know it's just one of them things when uh, when uh, when God permits that we have enough resources to uh, to be able to pay a drill to come out and drill a well for us. So one thing I wish I had. Um, uh, what are uh, the homesteading? What are some homesteading basic tool needs? Um, the basic tools that you need, you know, and I may do a whole separate video on this, some of the stuff that I use, because, I mean, there's there's different tools that, that are used for different, you're going to need tools for your garden, you're going to need tools uh, for your animal care, you're going to need tools for building and construction, um, you're going to need tools, to, you know, to, to, to cut and uh, uh, firewood and so on and stuff like that, if you burn wood, you're going to need uh, tools for that. And I may at some point do a whole separate video on the tools that I have that I use on a daily basis. Uh, but you know, you're gonna need basic, basic tools. The first tool is your brain. You're gonna have to be able to think about what you need to do and how you're gonna get it done with what you have. But you know, basic gardening tools would be a, a shovel, a rake, and a hoe. And you can do uh, anything that you need with, with just those. Uh, and of course, you know, if you have access to a, a tiller, those always are really handy. You know, homesteading doesn't mean primitive. You don't have to have everything hand tool. You don't have to use just regular hand tools. I mean, if you have access and the resources to get a good, a good tiller, then by all means, man, go with the tiller because that saves a lot of work. Same thing, you know, with uh, with firewood. If you have the means to get a splitter and a chainsaw rather than just trying to do everything with an axe and a and a maul and wedges and stuff like that, then that's the way to go. But a good axe is always a good thing to have around uh, because they do come in very useful. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, a chainsaw is is really a necessity, especially when it comes time to, to start piling up the firewood for the wintertime. Uh, basic carpentry knowledge and basic carpentry tools, meaning, you know, a hammer, uh, a drill, uh, a hand saw, uh, a skill saw, if you have the means to buy a, a rotary saw because they come in handy, jigsaws, so like that. I use, I have just a little DeWalt hand saw. That I mo that I use most of the time, just because uh, it doesn't cost anything. You know, you just you, you saw, and it works great. Hand saws work really, really, really good. And uh, you know, like when I'm redoing our butcher station down there, I didn't, you know, I didn't take a skill saw down there and run extension cords and all that. I just take my hand saw, cut what I need, and and uh, it works out great. Uh, and you can cut firewood with your hand saw as well. I mean, uh, just because you're not cutting a two by four doesn't mean that that saw is still not going to cut wood. I have used it to cut small rounds. Uh, of firewood all the time. It, uh, it saves gas on your chainsaw and uh, you know it, it helps give you a little bit of a workout and a little bit of exercise and it's, it's good for you. And it's good to use those uh, those kind of tools to keep in practice just in case you don't ever have any power available and you still need to, to build something or you still need to cut some firewood that you, you have. You know, you, you, It takes a little bit of practice to learn how to get your routine and your, uh, and your, your good motion down so you don't bend your blade and all that kind of stuff. But, I don't know, that may be one thing that uh, I'm, I may do a separate video about at some point and show you guys the tools that I use uh, and what I use them for and uh, on a daily basis. But like I said, uh, just because you're homesteading doesn't mean you have to be primitive. It uh, doesn't mean that it's uh, minimalist or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, we use technology and we use uh, uh, modern tools as much as we can afford to. And uh, like when we try to dig out the root cellar, you know, I haven't dug a root cellar yet because... Digging in the side of the hill is hard with a pickaxe and a shovel, man. You can ask anybody who's dug out here. That is a lot of work. And uh, I much rather would save my pennies until such time as I could either find somebody with a backhoe uh, that, I could, that I could pay to come out here and do it or rent a backhoe and dig it myself because, man, it is hard, hard digging out through here. Not saying that I couldn't do it. Uh, I will if it comes down to it. I will if it is absolutely necessary. Um, but right now... I'm just not to that point yet, and uh, I would rather expend my energy other, elsewhere. So, there you go. I don't know. If you guys are interested in seeing the stuff that I have, the tools that I use and stuff, then let me know, and, I, and we'll make a separate video about it. So, um, you know, my uh, 
watching all of the uh, the, the flooding and the storms going on at, in Texas, Oklahoma, out, out west there, uh, my heart goes out to them. I mean, the flood would be just horrible, horrible. Water damages everything, and uh, you could be the most prepared person in the world and have all kind of stuff stocked up, and a flood comes by and just wipes it all out. And uh, and even the folks who you know who don't have huge stockpiles of stuff, uh, it's just devastating. And um, I'm, and I just want to let everybody know that my hearts and my prayers go out to everybody who's been affected by the weather uh, so far this year and we are only in May and it's you know there's no telling what uh, this storm season is going to hold for us here in my area this has been a crazy crazy spring it has gone from hot to cold to hot to cold uh, extremely dry and very unusual and uh, I personally think that when the storms do start firing up with as hot as it's been as early as it has been they're going to be pretty nasty storms and uh, they've been really nasty storms out, you know, uh, in the West so far. And the people who really need the water right now, uh, the folks in California, they're still not getting any. I mean, it's just, the weather's crazy. And that's one of them things that can really, really devastate an area quickly. So uh, just keep an eye on the weather, keep an eye on the storms, y'all. Uh, and keep an eye on your area, what's going to happen. And uh, do the best you can to be to be ready. Me, uh, if, I, if, it, if I'm getting ready to go to bed and I know there's severe storms that are in the area, uh, believe it or not, I bring my chainsaw inside the house with me and I keep it at the, at the, the foot of my bed area down at, at that end of my bedroom because you just never know if a tree is going to come down and come right through the middle of the house and I'm trying to get to the kids or get out of the house and you're going to need to have that saw there handy to cut your way out or to cut somebody out or get through a wall or something. You never know. Uh, and it's rather much rather have the chainsaw in there ready to go than trying to figure something out because uh, you know you're trying to dig your way out with your hands. Just little things like that, you know, uh, just to kind of keep a little bit of a, be a little proactive rather than trying to react, you know, uh, to a bad situation. That's just something that I do. Um, I'm a bit storm paranoid anyway because I've had a, a couple of really bad experiences with storms, and I don't mess around when it comes time to uh, get ready for a storm to come through because. I've seen some of the worst of the worst that uh, weather can offer. We had a big old tornado when I lived in Missouri, and it was just devastated our little community. And uh, I really wished that I would have had a chainsaw that was sharp and gassed up, ready to go, handy. That would have made my afternoon go a lot easier rather than trying to uh, push through drywall and break studs with my hands and stuff like that. So food for thought. Um, God bless everybody who's uh, been affected by the storms. And I guess that's it for now. I'm going to drink me some more Gatorade and get back after it. Mm. Well, it ain't coffee, but holy crap. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will uh, be doing some updates here before too long. We'll do a, a garden and a home place update here pretty soon. And uh, until then, questions or comments, feel free. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. God bless. Yeah. Buzz buzz, the end.